G'day humans, Chris Jett from Finder here. Today I've got a little bit of a yarn for you. Now this is a true story, and this story happened to me. Now, on April 3, 2022, here in Sydney, Australia, the weather was absolutely shocking. We were in the middle of probably the wettest period I can ever imagine or ever remember having in my entire life living here in Sydney on the east coast of New South Wales and Australia. Now, on that particular day, the surf was also massive and it was so polluted, it was brown, you couldn't see through it. There were sharks everywhere at the time, jellyfish in it, because they'd all come out of the rivers, all the river sediment is washing out into the rivers and just coating the beaches in absolute crud. Logs, sticks, leaves, just disgusting, right? So we go down to Warriwood Beach on the northern beaches of Sydney, and I surf Warriwood all the time and I don't think I've ever seen the waves quite that big before. They were actually washing up into the parking lot. Anyway, me and the kids go down there and we decide we're gonna walk up the beach and as the big waves come up and kind of get all the way up into the grass, up to the top, and they'd subside for a little bit and we would kind of run up to the next big bank of sand and kind of get between all the different bits of waves and stuff. And we had the dog with us and we had some logs and stuff that they were climbing and all that kind of thing having fun. Anyway, we get up towards the far end of the beach and I kind of stand a little bit closer than the rest of the kids and the kids all kind of run off scared. This giant wave comes in, I'm like, oh, I'll be sweet. You know, and then I realize I'm not going to be sweet. So then I kind of, I go for a bit of a run. Oh, whoa, 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 trying to get my feet out of the water like this, right, moving away. Anyway, turn around, walk another 20 meters down the beach or so back towards the car and I go, I'm a phone. Where's my phone? I go, oh, well, it must have been when I was hopping around like that. So I go back to where I was hopping. There's nothing in the sand, can't see it anywhere. Looking everywhere, a little bit of panic. Like my phone, you know, obviously it's, a, it, it's, an, it's an iPhone 12, costs a lot of money. And on top of that, uh, I hadn't been able to update it to the cloud for about eight or nine months. It had a lot of holiday photos on it, a lot of these video reviews on it, lots and bits of pieces on it. Like, you know, did not want to lose this phone. Anyway, can't find it. So I go back to the car, I must have left it on the roof of the car or something, I've done that before. You know, get out, get the kids out, put the phone up on the roof, get out, deal with the kids, walk off, forget it, leave it on the roof. Done it before, in fact, I've done it before and driven it three suburbs and it's still been sitting on the roof. Go back to the car, it's not there. I open up the car, start looking around inside, has it fallen out of my pocket, is it sitting somewhere? No, I knew I had the phone because I sent a message as soon as I got to the beach to the boys saying, hey boys, surf's up. So I knew I had the phone with me when I got there. Turn around to a bloke that was sitting nearby and he was on his phone doing something and I said, oh mate, can you ring my phone? It must be in the car somewhere. He rings it, dead, turned off. I'm like, turned off? Like, you know, it had full battery, it shouldn't be off. Even if it fell out of my pocket on the beach, got a bit of water on it. These things, I, 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 they can survive in water for a bit, you know, it shouldn't be off. So I'm like, okay, I just can't get through. So I'm thinking, did I, did I leave it on the car roof and someone's grabbed it and, 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 and flogged it, just turned it straight off and they're like trying to go sell it somewhere, something like that. That's what I'm thinking might have just happened. You know, just try to think it through. So eventually I uh, go home, get a mate's metal detector, come back, go up and down the beach with the metal detector, still can't find it, looking everywhere. End up going back the next day at low tide, another look around, still can't find it anywhere. Go down to the police shop, say, look, I think, I don't know if, I don't know if it was taken or whether it fell, but I just thought I'd let you know, put in a police report, all that type of stuff. Now, on top of all this, this is a phone that was lent to me by Apple to do a review as well. So this had to go back, it wasn't even my phone. So I let Apple know about this. Pretty much just gave up on the fact that I was ever gonna see this phone again. But just in case, went up to Facebook, went on the local community groups, put up a couple of notes, you know, like lost phone, Newport, uh, Mar Marinaval, uh, Sorry, lost phone at Warriwood Beach, $100 uh, reward if you find it. If you just want the photos, you can keep the phone, all that type of stuff, you know. Forgot about it. So that was on April 3, April 4, April 5, that period there. Fast forward to June 15. I'm sitting on the couch at night time and my wife laughs. She goes, hey, you got a message on that Facebook post. I'm like, what? She shows me that message and she goes, oh, did you, are you the guy who lost your phone on, on, New, on, on Warriwood Beach? And I'm like, yeah, my wife's like, oh, it's got to be a scam, you know, watch out. I'm like, yeah, 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 I did, I lost my phone. And then he goes back to me and goes, oh, can you describe what it looks like? And I'm like, uh, it was in a navy blue case. And she goes, no, no, can you describe what was actually on the home screen? I'm on the home screen, like, like even if you have found my phone by fluke, there's no way it works. So like, oh, it's, a little, it's a picture of my daughter on a swing. And then she sends a photo and it's my phone. I'm like, what, what? 
how could how could she have how could it be working? So I go, that's my phone. Like, you know, where are you? And she goes, oh, I'm, I'm in Warrenwood and I'm in Minervale, so I went, oh, it's one suburb difference. And I went, can I, can I come over and get it? And she's like, yeah. So I nick over there and I go and I pick it up and it's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> it's on. It works like this. I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe. It. I said, where'd you find it? She goes, oh, she described this part of the beach was exactly where I did that hopping thing. And she was just there mucking around with a kid with a metal detector and she found it, she said it was about 50 centimetres underneath the sand. Now this phone had been sitting there through the whole of April and May and anyone who was anywhere in New South Wales knows it just rained non-stop. It would have, even that day alone, it would have copped another four or five hundred waves of that dirty, brown, disgusting, stormwater, sewerage filled, horrific seawater. It would have just copped that, the entire sand's porous. It would have copped all of that rain for months, like it flooded, the area flooded completely, all of this. And then she found it and plugged it back in and it turned straight back on and it works and all my stuff's still on there. She wouldn't even take her award. <laughs> I was like, you've got to take this hundred bucks, you've got to use it, this is unbelievable. She wouldn't even take the reward. So here I am with my iPhone 12 and all you can really see here is other than a little bit of marking on the case here that wasn't there beforehand, you know, and like, it's not even it's the slightest bit of sand in it, but like, it's, it, it's, it's, it's as it was. So I thought I'd share this story with you because I can't think of a better durability test you could actually possibly do on an Apple iPhone to see if it can survive the weather and the elements than what I just put this puppy through and it survived. I think that's a pretty good tick for this phone. <laughs> in my opinion. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'm Finder, I'm Chris Dead from Finder. Make sure you check out my other vids and also jump across to the finder.com website if you want to find out how to get the best plans to get phones as durable as this.